questioning skills with Keep the Lights Burning, Abby. In this video, we will explore how to develop questioning skills with your child by providing opportunities for your child to listen and tap into their curiosity while you read aloud to him or her. Be curious as you listen to an excerpt from Keep the Lights Burning, Abby by Peter and Connie Roop. She knew Papa was a fine sailor. He could sail in rain, he could sail in fog, but if the wind blew up again, he could not sail back to Matinicus Rock today. The waves would be too high for the little boat. Then she could have to care for the lights. Abby looked up. The two lighthouse towers seemed as high as the sky. Where is Papa going? Why does Papa have to go away? What does caring for the lights mean for Abby? Why are there lighthouse towers? What if Papa can't get back for more than one day? Books like Keep the Lights Burning Abby evoke many thought-provoking questions that readers and listeners of any age can ask to better engage in the story to understand it further. When children listen to a story read aloud, their minds can think about what they are hearing in a deeper way. Questioning is a comprehension skill that strengthens the child's ability to mentally involve himself or herself in the story. Storytime provides children with a safe, non-threatening place to ask questions about what they want to know and what they may not understand. Start questions with these various question words. Who, what, where, when, why, and how. While reading aloud, parents can model questioning skills, an essential part of reading comprehension. Parents can model this skill by pausing after reading a page or paragraph aloud and generating a simple question about what has been read. After reading aloud a while longer, the parent can pause again to prompt the child in asking a question on his or her own with or without support. You can help to rouse questions in your child's brain by starting with a question word like who or what or why do you think and having him or her finish the rest of the question. Make sure to give your child enough wait time to come up with a question on his or her own. Wait time is the length of time you wait to listen for your child to respond. Wait time gives your child those needed moments to think about an answer before responding. Teachers in the classroom who use wait time with their students report that giving them that time to think in between asking a question and having a student respond results in more thoughtful answers and more practice with critical thinking when offered that extra time. In the same way, you can wait for your child to respond without providing an immediate answer for those three or more seconds before finishing your child's question for him or her. Wait time is thinking time, and thinking is what grows a child's mind. To learn more, visit Slow and Steady Get Me Ready for Kindergarten.com.